Warriors start a doubleheader on ESPN and the ESPN app. The Nuggets take on the Celtics at 8 p.m. Eastern. Then the Lakers are in Portland to face the Blazers. Our coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 7. The San Francisco 49ers have suspended radio analyst Tim Ryan for saying that Lamar Jackson's dark skin helps him disguise a dark football when running fake handoffs. Ryan made the comments during a radio interview Monday morning. The team has suspended Ryan, who will not be a part of Sunday's broadcast against the Saints. He did issue an apology saying this. I regret my choice of words in trying to describe the conditions of the game. Lamar Jackson is an MVP caliber player, and I respect him greatly. I want to sincerely apologize to him and anyone else I offended. Dominique Foxworth is in the building. Damian Woody is still here. I love it. We got a little round table going. I also want to mention he compared his skin color to the black uniforms in addition to the dark football. Nick? You're up first. Lamar Jackson is so good, he got these people acting crazy. <laughs> that is absurd. So, like, the idea that the offense is an offense that you might see, some of the similarities is you might see in a high school wing tee, a lot of yeah. change direction. That's why it's hard to find the ball because that's the, the offense is designed to make it hard to find the ball. I don't know that there – I would say that there's just enough logic to this that it makes it dangerous, and that's the problem with something like this. I think it's foolishness. There are plenty of other games, like baseball, there's a white ball, but no one's out here saying these – White pitchers sure do have an advantage because their fingers blend into the ball. You can't get a read on it. It just feels mm. like nonsense is dangerous. So how about we just fix everything? No wonder we there have been so many good white pitchers. <laughs> oh, it that's never it. occurred to me. That's how it. did Bob Gibson even do it? Like, like let's let's say that they're right and or he's right and that it gives them some advantage. Can we have something? We can't have nothing. We have a look, we have a, a play action skin tone. You can't leave us alone. Like it's absurd. It's nonsense. <laughs> I don't know that a suspension was necessary, but it just feels like foolishness. I'm I'm happy. That that um, he said it because it brought it to the table and it's something that we can slap down, but it just seems like stupid. If it was a thing, why wouldn't other quarterbacks just wear black gloves if you thought it helped you with play action or brown gloves? It just seems stupid. I, I, you know, I, when I first heard it, first of all, I had to do a double take. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute, did somebody really come out of their mouth and say something like this? Um, but I just thought it was a dumb comment. I didn't yeah. think it was necessarily a racist comment, in my opinion. I just felt like it was one of those things where, you know, a guy just... He just said something that was ridiculous uh, in this particular case. And Dominic brought up a great point. The reason that this whole off Lamar Jackson, this whole offense is so successful, number one, it's different in the National Football League. And the things that they're running, it's hard to prepare for those type of things. It has nothing to do with skin color. Um, and I think we got to be careful with people trying to call for the man's job. I really do. I think that sometimes you hear a little – you. People hear certain things, and then all of a sudden, everyone's just come to like rush to the, you know, rush to the whole cancel culture. Well, we want to cancel him. We want him fired. And it's just like, I don't know what's in that man's heart. I don't. I just think that he made a dumb comment. He's paying the price for it with a suspension. And I think we need to move on from that point. I think Stephen A and I discussed this earlier, and um I think you do need to read into someone's intentions in this situation. And I, when I hear comments like this, like to think the best of people and think this is not coming from a malicious place. It's coming from a fool place of foolishness. Right. And because race is ever present, it's the elephant in the room. I think some people don't want to shy away from that and try to take kind of a post-racial position. Like, hey, aren't we past this whole thing enough that we can actually talk about things that race may play a part of without worrying for our jobs. And, and especially when you're on the radio, there is pressure to come up with new things right. to say and takes and stuff like that. So that's what I like to assume. However, events that have transpired in this country in recent years, you know, like I wouldn't have had that point of view if, if it were the 1960s, for example. But by the 1990s, I think that was a legitimate point of view to adopt. Recent events in this country over the last several years have me rethinking that position. Maybe there is much more malice than I'm willing to concede usually. In this case, I don't see malicious intent here. I, I don't like even a suspension. I can understand a suspension, but I don't even love that. I think you are held up to ridicule for a comment like that. That is the reaction. That's what you get for it. And I don't like a kind of a, a feeling of a, a basic climate of fear that stops, prevents people from thinking out loud sometimes. 
But a skin pr- color has yeah. nothing to do with football. But he thought it did. He was he so, thought that hit the, reason, the football. The so it's a stupid wrong. comment. The reason why you're wrong, and I'm not saying that I want him to be fired or, or he or he deserves suspension. I, I don't want to get into all that necessarily. But the reason why you're wrong is I don't care what's in his heart. I don't care if he meant to be malicious or not. That that comment, in my view, is rooted in his belief that black quarterbacks should not be successful or, or a potential ambient Taking belief credit that no, yeah, Lamar. it's looking for a way to explain why he's so good that has nothing to do with the fact that he is talented and very smart. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to jump into his head, but I'm saying and, and um, assume that that's what he meant, but I'm saying that that is implicit. Whether he meant it or not, it needs to be called out because implicit in that is you're not good enough. The reason why you are having a great season is somehow has nothing to do with your ability well, or you your intellect. you just called it out, though. Right, yeah. You just called it so out. So I'm happy we called it out, and, that's, and that needs to be called out. We don't need to forgive it. And because there it are lots be of people punished by a suspension. I could care less, honestly. I'm not. I'm. That's not my position, one way or the other. Like, I'm not mad. I'm not going to start picketing to get him his job back. Like, I don't care. Suspend him. Fire him. Don't. Whatever. That's fine. I think the point is, I appreciated that it came up because there are probably other people who think this, and other people who unconsciously find reasons to explain away the success of minorities by finding some other reason other than their accomplishments and their acumen. Well, so- yeah. well here's my thing. I was going I was going there, Dominique. That's where I was going. I was going to point out how, you know, somehow, some way what you're trying to do is take away from the greatness that we're witnessing and attributing uh, his success to something other than his attributes, his greatness. You know, your dark skin, your your dark pigmentation matching with the football deceives the eye. And as a result, we don't know that you have the football and that's why you juking dudes. And that's why you're doing the things that you're doing on the football, which speaks to a level of ignorance from an historical perspective that black folks have had to battle for quite a long time, which is why I do not share your belief when you say, well, I don't care what happens to one no, no, no. It's not about him. It's about making sure that you highlight the transgressions of his actions. And as a result, you you engage in dissuasive measures to make sure that that's not emulated or duplicated in the future. The one thing that I would say to point to you, Damien, totally in agreement with you is that one of the biggest reasons we have to be careful is that guess what? Black folks say stupid stuff on the air sometimes, too, and off the air. Every little thing we say, we want to be fine. We really want to open that Pandora's box. Better be careful. You know what I'm saying? That's why, regardless of how hardcore I can be, mm-hmm. I never fail. I try to have some compassion when it comes to taking away your check. Not being a part of your cancel ability. culture. No, I'm right. not trying to I do think, that. Because, wanna, but hold on, hold on. Because what I don't want to do is make, because when you open a Pandora's box, what happens is, is that other people say, all right, black folks are on the air saying this, 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 and that. Mm-hmm. Why shouldn't they be punished? So let's make sure while we point out that yep. somebody is wrong, we highlight, we, we, we're careful not to be calling for them to That's be fair. unemployed over it. That's fair. Stephen, I, I asked the guys this earlier and we discussed it and I want to get your take on it. In his apology, he said, I regret my choice of words in trying to describe the conditions of the game. Right. It's not an apology. He had time to think about it. It's not an apology. people to help him formulate this. It's not an apology, and it shows that he doesn't understand what's wrong. The reason why I said I don't care whether he gets fined or or suspended or fired or whatever is not out of self-interest, given that I'm someone who's on on TV and I also say dumb things and I don't want to be fined or suspended. It's because I think that that's not important. What's important is he's given us an opportunity to point out what's wrong. So I don't care if you fine and suspend him or whatever, as long as you explain what he's doing and why it's wrong. He doesn't even understand. But wouldn't you this care? But what did you I agree care? the hold apology on, hold on, hold on, was not but good. It, but yeah. and we all agree the apology was, was, was yeah. stunk. We get that. But wouldn't you agree if we're sitting here today, and let's say, for example, he was fired for mm-hmm. this comment. I think most of us, if not all of us, would agree that's a bit excessive. And more right. importantly, it would heighten the level of scrutiny all of us face. And it would make all of us tight. But why is that speaking. bad? But stay right there. Why is that bad? It's not because, oh, because we want our jobs, which we do. It's because this public discourse is the poorer for a climate of fear. I agree with the point you made earlier. Like, you know, an extension that. Could you imagine how good Christian McCaffrey must be? Because they could easily see the football. Oh, he's even better. Right? There, there's, no, some way, there's some way of taking away credit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, the baseball that, was a great point. It was. It was, it was an excellent analogy. So I get it. 
I and got from that, his, that point because I'm smart. Not and from, not and from my skin color. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not my blackness that well, allowed I, it, me to yeah, deceive you. you. That's right. Harvard. That's right. <laughs> you didn't, it wasn't Isaac. a stealth point. I understand <laughs> it. It's based on your own merits. But, but so, so I get that objection to it. And based on his apology, it seems like he... Like, I would like to hear more from him right. about, on well, this let issue. Me say this. Hold on, let me say this. Yeah. Joe Madison of Black Eagle Urban View Radio every weekday morning from 6 to 10 a.m. had Dr. Harry Edwards, the great Dr. Harry Edwards, on his show this morning. Dr. Harry Edwards affiliated with the 49ers, right. obviously Professor Emeritus, all of this other stuff. Noted historian, uh, yeah. my brother. I love him dearly. Here's what he said to Joe Madison, the Black Eagle, this morning. Tim Ryan is a good guy, and that... We're going to have to pick up the pieces. We have to call them on it, but at the same time, we cannot dismiss them because all of us have a lot to learn. Right. Agreed. Yeah. That doesn't change anything, though. I think that... How does he explain the fact that at the, at the beginning of the year, Jason Reed at the Undefeated decided that we were going to dub this year, before the season started, the year of the black quarterback mm -hmm. at the Undefeated. Right now, the top five quarterbacks by QBR in the NFL are black. It's not all because they got mesh point skin tone. Like, it's because the quarterbacks can play. And I think that where we fail in – in um, suspending him and not discussing it or explaining and having his apology be so bad, where we fail is what you do then is you set up an opportunity to, for people to say, he shouldn't have been suspended, he shouldn't be fine, we're overreaction, we're overreacting. That's not the point. The point is what is underneath this, what is implied, is to bring up what is implied in his assessment. And that's the opportunity we have. That's why I say I don't care whether he gets fined or suspended. But what you're the, talking the, about is... The, the, what I care about is that we express to sports fans and to anyone else who sees this the reason why this is wrong and why something... How about about, youth, for kids yeah. to you're, see this. You're talking about making the ignorant aware of the reasons that they may not be right. aware of under the surface are really motivating those kind of comments. Right. Not only the, the speaker of the comment, but those who receive it and think, oh, okay, that, that may be, right? That is a good point. I, but the reason the punishment comes into uh, conver to our conversation is, is it an appropriate reaction? You say you don't care. But that has a larger effect on the kind of conversations that are had publicly. Even right. your opportunity to make this point publicly. But it only has a larger effect if that's what we talk to. That's not what we talk to. The only things that, that's what we're talking to, but that's not the point that the 49ers made. That's not the point that the apology made. That's why I think it's a missed opportunity. And if you suspend them without explaining why right, he's suspended, go. then the people take away from it that we're in this cancel culture. We can't say anything. It's not yeah. safe. We right. got to leave it there. Apology, definitely a missed opportunity. Uh, when we come back here on First Take, we got Thursday Night Football, folks. Stephen A's Cowboys going against those Bears. They've won three of their last four. Who's going to get the dub? We break it all down. Stay here. Don't miss.